Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. I would like to uh, continue the Q&A section by answering the questions that was posed on my community tab. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the next question that I uh, want to answer from the second video is uh, from Rachel. Dear PJ, make a round bezel with the sweep one rail, but it's open inside. We cannot close the button. Thank you. Love your video. Rachel, thank you for loving my video. So something that I would like to talk about for the bezel set, and for example, this is a set for your stone to sitting in there. Supposedly, there should be a closed poly surface, right? Now, assuming that it's a round stone, and what happened if you have a uh, open uh, surface so let me just explode it this one and for one of the curve on one of this point I am going to open it like this right and I want to close it now any of an open curve you will have an open surface a closed curve you have a closed surface so in this case let's say you are doing the very final one and you didn't turn on the old snap and doesn't snapping into the point right so when you're trying to make them a surface and I intentionally make a really big gap so you can see a lot of time we don't see it um, so under the surface you have revolve command let me type it zero here and then holding the shift 360 degree and look like it is exactly like what we had there but if you click on it and then you should look at your property object here it is showing an open poly surface all right so make sure close curve and creating a closed uh, surface all right so let's look at the next one i take a look on the next question from Nifia. Uh, if I pronounce correct, hello PJ, can you show example how to find the gram way for the casting jewelry? So if you go to my channel and under here you have a search and just type it way. And this is, I have over 300 video on the YouTube and I believe a lot of time you, you will find an answer in one of the video. And how do you find that specific video? You just need to search here. So if you search the weight then you're going to see I have a few things here. And the first one is the jury, how to calculate the metal weight. So I have a video specific for that. So you can just check out those video um, to find the answer. So let's take a look on the next questions. PJ, I have a jewelry shop and starting a small plane for the manufacturing. Need your advice about casting process. So I would recommend you, if you haven't seen this video, this video has a lot of information about the casting. And then highly recommend you, anybody have a casting questions, watch this video first. Okay. And then the second question is about the printer. What kind of 3D printer do you recommend term and the quality of the speed? I personally own a Frozen uh, Shuffle 4K and I do have a review on that but this video was posted over a year ago so they no longer have this uh, machine there but I think the Frozen does have other machine this Sonic uh, Mega AK it's really fine and detailed I personally haven't tried it so don't call on me if you are interested to find out what printer is uh, suitable for you, you can actually uh, search online. One of group that I like on the Facebook a lot is this one. It's called 3D Printing and Casting for Jewelry. All right. However, do not just go there and say, what is the best printer? <laughs> right here on the uh, uh, meet already say, do not ask which printer is the best. Because this topic is being discussed in the group so many times. And then you can actually search in the group. It already have a lot of information. It's an awesome group. I will highly recommend that you join it. You need to answer all the questions and follow the rule. Okay. And then so if you do join it, um, please respect other people. People sharing a lot of things here. People using different kind of a printer and I will show you the result. I think it's better. Uh, then for me to just say which one is the best. What machinery we need to stop a casting, uh, start up for a casting and manufacturing unit? All right, so this is a huge question. Uh, it really depends on the 
production that you have, uh, how much work you have. If you have, you know, 100 piece and 1,000 piece, you need a bigger kiln, right? But I would like to share with you is, again, going to the Stoller website, and then you just type in casting, and then you can see a lot of the different thing. So let's take a look on what I write it down here. So what you need to involve is the CAD, and of course you will need to have the software. A lot of people is email me, see if I have a crack version to share. Please do not email me about that. Please buy. A license because it takes a lot of time for Rhino, GeneVision, Metric uh, to develop a software. So please buy a license and don't ask me for the crack version. So that's another topic. But first of all, you will need to have a CAD, a computer, and the CAD software to produce your CAD. And you need a 3D printer. And again, it doesn't uh, I don't have a set answer say which printer is good. If you are a printing company that you produce a printer, you want me to try it out and write a re review, you're welcome to contact me. Um, so, and then you need the vacuum machine for investment, which means you need to suck out all the bubble from your investments or will have a clean surface. You only need to have a kiln, depends on how big that um, your, your manufacturing uh, piece is you may have a bigger kiln or smaller kiln. In the actually casting part, you will need to have a centrifugal or vacuum casting, and after that, you will need to have a tumbler to clean out. If it's just one piece, you may can do the hand finish. Then you will need a buffing disc uh, system. So in that case, if you go to the Stoller website and just type casting, and you can kind of get an idea how much they roughly cost. It will. Again, I have no affiliation with a Staller here, just using a website as an example. Um, those are the, like, for example, this kiln, pretty small, and, and that's how much it costs. You have a vacuum machine here, and you also have the vacuum and casting machine, and this is a centrifugal machine. So it really depends on, you like to use a vacuum casting, or you like to do the centrifugal, and they are different choice there for you. Can you make a video about the C plane and not everything about C plane? All right, so I do have a video. And again, if you're coming into my channel and you just type in C plane, then you will have this, the tip of using C plane in Rhino 3D. So any of the question that you have, I will suggest you go into my channel and type it there and search if I already have a video there. And that will save you a lot of time instead of waiting for me to write you back the e email. Okay, so Kaka has a questions about how to center any type of an image and trace it. All right, so in that case, let's find the image first. I say I have this image that um, I wanted to trace. And by the way, anything that you want to trace, make sure that you have a copyright to use it. Uh, if you are a designer, please value your time as a designer and value other people's time as a designer too. You want to save this image and for this one I have a vector stock I'm not using for the commercial just the demonstration for how uh, you can trace the image. So coming into the top view or any view you like uh, in right now you can type a picture command and then it will pick anything right there and you bring it here and for whatever size. Now, for example, how am I gonna center this guy right here? What you can do in this case, I can see there's a, most of the, it, it's in the um, circle. So I'm gonna just roughly to draw a circle and something like that. Try to touch upon all five of them and I'm pretty lucky to get this really close there. All right, so now I have the circle. I can simply just go into click on the center here on the O snap, and I want to drop a point right there. So a point I want to snap into the center. So now you see there's a point right into the center. Now I'm going to select everybody and use the move command, snapping into this point and just type in zero there. So now this image is right in the center then I can trace over mirror or polar array for whatever you wanted to do. I hope that answers your questions, Kaka. All right, so another question is, you wanted to know, <clears throat> want to learn model injury, but not only Rhino. 
what else I need to study or to know? It really depends on the style. Let's say if you want to make an engagement ring, Rhino is a pretty good tool, or you can use Metric Go. Metric Go is a plugin for Rhino, so it has a lot of uh, a good tool to use, like a stone that you can use um, for, for, for the jewelry design. So Rhino and Metric Go will be a good software to you, uh, for you to use. Um, the next one, it will be ZBrush. And why I'm saying ZBrush is because if you want to sculpting something, Right. So let's say you wanted to have make a human face and the hair and the texture is really detailed. Then you want to use a ZBrush. It's a very uh, popular software for sculpting. Now, in you might hear those three: Clayo, T Spline, Subdi. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, T Spline, I think, is from Autodesk. If I I'm not wrong, the Clayo has including into the metric, the old version of the metric Go, and sub is in the Rhino 7. So what they do is they can uh, creating really organic shape. I do have a course uh, for specific for sub -D. So if you're interested on that, you can check out my website. And those are making like really organic form if you're interested in that. So those will be what I will recommend it. You look into for the software wise. All right, very last question is I want to learn the different size between the CAD design and printing piece. And I asked back like if you mean the different sizes, the sizing ring, or I wasn't really quite sure about this, but I also think about um, petrol might be asking for shrinkage, right? If that is the case, again, recommend you watch this video. Um, Matt was talking about the shrinkage from the printing, from the CAD to the printing, to the finished process. So highly, highly recommend that you watch this video. I think I answered all the questions um, from the first round. If you are interested in jewelry industry uh, experience and want to to know what I have done or sharing my experience, um, you are welcome to leave the comment below writing out your question. The more detail is easier for me to understand. And I'll try my best to answer your question. Hope you like this series of video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.